Welcome to the garden. Today I'm going to show you how to transplant seedlings as you thin out your containers. First thing we want to do is make sure that soil is really well saturated. This is going to soften everything up and we actually won't have to dig at all. So I'll try and just grab the whole plant very gently like this, pull out as much of that root as we can. Seedlings that are a little bit smaller are best grabbed by the leaf. That way, if you do squeeze a little bit too hard, you're not going to be damaging that tender stem or root. If you're having trouble deciding which plants to keep and which plants to pull, I usually like to start with a big one. So I'll pick this nice big one here and then weed out everything around it. We've got a spacing of about one inch right now, but eventually I'll probably end up pulling this one and this one and maybe this one behind it. That way we have a much wider spacing, so this has a lot more room to grow now. But because we saturated that soil, we've actually saved most of the roots on these plants. So these are perfectly good to transplant into a new container. So I'm gonna dig a couple holes with my finger here. We'll handle our seedlings by the leaf so we don't damage them. And then you just wanna get those roots all the way to the bottom. This is a really quick and easy way to fill in empty containers. Now we just want to give them a really nice healthy drink. Try and water them in gently. Lettuce especially are very soft. So if you can transplant lettuce like this, you can transplant anything. This works for spinach, radishes, broccoli, tomatoes, peppers, you name it. And we can do the same thing with our spinach. I've got a clump here that's pretty densely packed. And it's gonna do a lot better if we thin it out. So we'll try and pull out those roots intact. We'll space them a couple inches apart. And because we've saturated that soil, look at all of that root. So that's gonna be a really healthy transplant. Now if you can, this is great to do on a cloudy day or a rainy day. But if you have to do this on a sunny day, you wanna give these some shade. I usually just use dried leaves like this. So that'll prevent them from wilting on that first day. I'll keep them really well watered for the next week. And this entire container will be full of lettuce that otherwise would have just been thinned out. This is what I like to aim for, about a one inch gap in between each plant. And we can thin these out further as they grow up, but this is a great starting point. And it's given us several containers worth of transplants. This is one that's nice and orderly, where I've actually dug each individual hole, so you can see how nice and neat they are. And then this is one of my experimental pots, where I just piled them up and then buried them in compost. I'm really surprised at how well this has worked. This is so cool. So I hope you give this a grow in your garden, transplanting seedlings as you thin out your containers. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.